You're making no money and instead just draining your bank account. There's a big difference in owning your own business, but you're spending more money than you're making compared to making more than you spend. One of the biggest problems is you not being able to finish jobs fast enough, making you more money per hour. Imagine taking on a job that takes three to four hours making $400. So that's $100 in an hour, but compare it to finishing in an hour and a half to two hours, that's $200 an hour now. This might not seem like a big change, but after a couple jobs, trust me, it is. And there's only three simple things you have to change it. Number one is offering very simple, fast, and effective services. That way you can stray away from the long, minuscule ones. This more so comes into play with mobile detailing, as there's hundreds of different kinds of details that you could go into. And by offering all these different things, you can start to beef up your prices. But you have to remember, this comes with spending more and more and more time on all these little services that you're trying to offer to make more money. It's going to become very difficult to land jobs. There's been way too many times where my service list is actually just too long and I'm trying to offer way too many things. And that way I of course had to make the price fair to me. But the customers start to say no and they start to stop responding. Quota Q is incredible, especially if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments. Give Quota Q a try for free. Just click the link in the comment section and the description of this video. Quota Q is also the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and secure payment from your customers, and even providing you with real time business analytics such as close ratio, sales, and expense tracking. Offering faster, more simple, and effective services allows you to get in and out of jobs significantly faster faster and you get way more yeses than noes. Number two is not having help at these jobs. It's not weak or stupid to hire somebody else that's actually willing to work. Most people like that aren't going to expect you to split the job 50-50, but of course you want to pay them well so they keep helping. Once they begin to learn your strategy for each job that you're going to or your each car, whatever you're doing, you can fly through them and even do more of them. This came heavily into play once I started bringing on help with my mobile detailing jobs, as I was easily able to have somebody following me around doing everything every task that I was about to have to start on next without me having to say so. Not to say that it won't take a couple of jobs for them to get it down, but after a while, it just becomes muscle memory. While I'm vacuuming the front of the car, they go behind me, hitting every single surface with a wipe down or even on the other side, wiping down all the surfaces over there before I get there or just pulling trash. Number three is having an exact plan to attack each job. I know that every time I go into a job, I immediately start pulling trash and I get my vacuum ready. And while I'm vacuuming, the other person starts making their way around, making sure there's no trash, no car seats, nothing in there, and they get a wet towel and a bucket, start wiping down surfaces. This allows for a stress-free job and little to no guesswork. Nothing's going to make the job take longer and make you less money like not knowing what's next. And trust me, this happens more often than you think. The worst part about detailing cars, especially a bad car, is not knowing where to start. Once you begin to lay out how you work and what's next, you're only going to get better and faster at it. Once again, being able to make you more money in less amount of time than before. A step-by-step -step process that you're always following is guaranteed to give you equal or better results from each car and you're only going to improve over time. And think about it like this, implementing these couple of things isn't going to take money out of your pocket unless you assume that paying a couple dollars to somebody to help you out to make you more money is a problem. Then take these things and go make some more money. Also, if you made it to this point in the video, comment down below plan and I'll pin your comment. A lot of my subscribers have been struggling to get more customers or even their first customer, but I developed my own lead strategy that has gotten me my first $10,000 in jobs. And good news, my course is completely finished. If you guys want to learn my strategy of how I've gotten $10,000 thousand dollars in free leads that I can continue to service day after day after day there is now a number that you can contact listen the course is not going to be for free I give away a lot of good information on this channel but if you want to take your business to the next level or you're thinking about starting a business but you don't know how to get customers in this course I'm going to teach you how not to get scammed how to get thousands of dollars in free customers that you can service on and on and on also how to talk to customers and make sure that you sell your service quickly and efficiently with my own personal messages that I've had with customers. You guys can contact this number up here and if you send me the word strategy and we're going to get you set up immediately.